Hello, like once again, and welcome to episode four of The Walking Dead. All right, I figure I'd do episode four just to get it out of the way because my buddy already did his episode, so I'm gonna do my version of it, and then I'm gonna make a stat video for him because I like to compare what stuff we like to do. But anyway. <laughs> After this fucking episode, after being ran over by a damn semi-truck, this one has a bit of a slow burn. But I'll shut up. I'm really not in the mood to, to do an intro. I just want to play the episode, so let's get right into it. Boom, boom, boom. Hope you guys are all having a good day. I have comments turned off because the bots were really getting just out of control. Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly! Ugh, I've heard enough out of you! Now, what the fuck's the problem? You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow, if y'all keep going on like this, then that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! You son of a- ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah. I got your parents right here, and you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. No, we're not. No, we're not. Pretty sunset, though. Or, I mean, sunrise. or something. So that took way too long to load. Oh man. I really hope my internet, internet, internet doesn't cut out. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. I'd like to remind you of that. Even though the more you play these games, the more you start to realize that train. We parked it right there, which I don't know why we didn't take it further. It look, looks, looks like there's more tracks. Jeez. And he got the strap out. Episode 4, Around Every Corner. Got Chuck with the shovel, <laughs> Ben looking around. I guess for some reason, all we fucked up. to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. It's not safe to stop out here in the open. We need to keep moving. He can rest after we find a boat and get out on the water. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're going to have to carry him. Or leave him? What? No, that's not an option. We can't- Lady, I've known you for all of 12 hours. We don't know you don't get you. to say we unless you mean just you and him. Yeah, you know, it's you and me and him. Since this all started, I've seen the best come out of a lot of people and the worst come out of a lot of others. 
Guess we know which side you came down on. There you go again. We. There is no we. There's us, and there's you and your boyfriend slowing us down. Exactly. Krista, Kenny's right. The longer we stay out in the open, the more dangerous it is for all of us. I'm not leaving him. No one's asking you to. We just gotta keep moving, all of us. Lee, Besides, can't you help fine. him? His leg looks really bad. Yeah, you're right. right. Omid, here, give me your arm. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Very odd one. Most of them go off every 30 minutes. Oh! Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. Shut up, man. I know what I saw. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! <laughs> I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me! What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. God damn it! Run! Follow me! Opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Don't worry. Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. 
They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. Yeah. He used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time, we're the cookies. Just stay away from the gate. And we'll see about getting us inside the house. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. For real. Try not to worry. It always looks worse than it really is. Except when it's a bite. Yeah, well, it's not a bite. It's not a bite. We're gonna get you fixed up. Just get us inside the house, will you? I'm on it. Lee? Uh -huh. Yeah? Thanks. No problem. Yeah. Checking in with everybody. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying. So you somebody in need, you put a that child girl in especially? danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck. At least not with me. Yeah, well, I figure that's probably for the best. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. Yo. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest, but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is gonna help us get inside this house. Okay. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Huh. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> All right, so where's the dog? A shovel is never not useful. Get yourself a shovel. We're in deep shit. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. Yeah, no thanks. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Looks like something was buried here. Careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. For sure. What's buried down there? Been here a while. Whatever it is, it's been here a while. You, I can smell it from here. Gross! Clementine, honey, come sit with me in Omid. Let Lee work. God, the smell. Oh. Must have belonged to someone. I can't 
get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? How you guys doing? Not great, so long as we're stuck out here. Will you please go figure out a way to get us inside? Here goes nothing. Yes! God damn! That's right, brother. We in. You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Clem, what do you see in there? Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I didn't see the point in worrying anyone. Not until I figured out who it was. I don't like people keeping secrets. I especially don't like it when they think it's for my own good. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What if they're the same guy? That doesn't make any damn sense. If it was the same guy, why would he warn us? Damned if I know. Maybe they were just trying to mess with us. Wouldn't be the most screwed up thing I've seen these past few weeks, I can tell you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I'm with Kenny. Kenny on that. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head to the river together. Deal? Suit yourselves, and I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you oh, just see enough. if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. Good girl. Okay. Let's go. No water? I'm thirsty. Nah. Nothing. Water's off. Of course the water's off. Ain't that some shit. Doggy food. Oh, 
we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Whoever cleared this place out left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. Exactly. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. Nothing Got hiding it. in here. Exactly my style. I kind of like it. All clear in here. One more to check. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Hey guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far so good. How's that couch treating you, Omid? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I feel you. What do you guys think about this plan of Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kinney's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. I don't like you. I really don't. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Yeah, I keep Thanks, Lee. Bad doctor. Or bad nurse, whatever you want to call it. What happened? A mob. It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Mob. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Yep. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, uh, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Back off. Back off, Krista. She hasn't done anything wrong. I'm not saying she intended to, but she's just a kid. She doesn't know any better. You never told her not to talk to strangers? I mean, these days more than ever. Clem, honey, who is the man you've been talking to? It's okay, you're not in any trouble. We just need to know. I don't know, but he really seems nice. I think he wants to help us. Help us how? Clementine, what exactly have you told him? I told him that we were looking for my mom and dad and that they were in Savannah. He said he thinks he might know where to look for them. Have you told him anything else about us? Clementine, try to think. This is important. What else have you told him? Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. What? Kenny 
said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Kenny? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. This must have been where he slept. What a way to live. What a way to die. Just ran out of food, like we almost did. Like we still might. All empty. He probably died of dehydration before he starved. Damn. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. should bury him. I'll take care of it. Last symbolism, I think, in this scene. Just doesn't really. Sad. Bearing a child. Obviously, they didn't come back because I don't 
see their bodies in the uh, in the house. So they must have gone somewhere and gotten killed. Here, I'll kill you. You understand? I'll kill you! Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. Took I don't fast. like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. Alright, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he we better get go. ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We have to go. I'm with Kenny. The sooner we get the hell out of here, the better. Well, then hell, what are we waiting for? I'll go get my stuff. No. Ben, you'll only slow us down. Lee and I can go scout the river while the rest of you get ready to move out. You stay behind with Krista and Omid. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. We need to focus on finding a boat right now, Clem. Like we talked about on the train, remember? Yeah. Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. Safety is more important. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Yep. No offense, Ben, but I'd feel safer if you stayed here. How am I supposed to not take offense to that? What am I, a liability? Yes. Great. Just great. Thanks a lot for the vote of confidence. Confidence is earned, Ben. And you've got a long way to go to earn yours back after some of the stuff you pulled. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Just throw your ass off that goddamn train. I told the wrong motherfucker. Shit right here. Hey, so you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened Anything? back there, in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean, river's we... right up ahead. Okay. Son of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again! It's another trap! No, listen. 
That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. Gotta crawl it now. What in the hell is going on? Someone must be bringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... that doesn't look like it to me maybe we need to start thinking about a plan b this is the plan lee this is our best and only shot you said so yourself back at the house you agreed with me yeah but that was before we we came down here there's nothing here now man so we gotta we gotta do something else we thought that we had been in boat because we're on the water and it's a big port but This one might still be salvageable. Salvageable? This boat's fucked. Kenny, get a grip. This boat is totally fucked. Oh, yeah? Know a lot about boats, do you? No, but Tell I know you it's what. fucked. If I ever need an expert opinion on American history, I'll be sure to ask. But how about you leave the nautical shit to me? Why you gotta throw my career in my face? Yeah, I'm a teacher. That's my career. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Jesus. Yeah. Okay, that's where I need to go first. But first, let me go investigate some over here because my buddy didn't check over here first. It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. Yeah. Remember when money had use? It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. Apparently it's like some new, for, uh, yeah, a newsstand. Yeah, newsstand. That's why. That's why I should have told you in the chat. Stand. And if you look at this markings over what here, what the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. Devon, you know, you know what that tag is. And what you were looking at early, what you were looking at in your video, yeah. There's a way to read that. <laughs> Fuck. What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. Crispy. Could be military tags. But yeah, what I think mean? it's like a number of walkers in the area, a number of people in the area, number of casualties, number of... It's... Something like that. Like I think the I think the uh, uh, two six. Damn it! I used to remember this. I used to remember what it was. Now I forgot what it was. I know it's like number of walkers in the area, number of people, how many kills. Uh, I'm not sure. Someone will probably correct me. That's why also I turn on comments because I don't want to seem like an asshole. Gas <laughs> siphoned. Tires removed. Engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. This thing has been stripped the fuck clean. 
must have been a hell of a wreck. Collided with the trolley, it looks like. God damn. Looks like it's still intact. A lot of younger people probably don't know what this is. Like, what is this? Well, in the olden days, they used to have machines that only had newspapers in them. I'm not sure if they still do. Still locked. Still locked. Oh yeah, I gotta investigate the, uh, not investigate, I gotta examine the uh, telescope first. Keep out. Not exactly a welcome banner. No. Not by any means. That right there is a sign, like, yo, get the fuck out. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Walk. There we go. Ooh, thank you, George Washington. First president of the United States. Huh. A lot of symbols in there. We and George Fuck! After all. What? What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the? What the hell is that? Barricaded walkers. Worse than death. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. No sign of any boots down there. Right no way that one's salvageable. Yeah, we can't swim out there to get to, can get to it. Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. Talmud Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Historical landmark. Oh, hello. What the hell? Get down! Get down! We hiding. Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Let's okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. up. Well, there you go, Devon. I fucked something up. I knew I would, though, because my fucking analog stick is fucked up. You're not from Crawford. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. Get her! Get her! No, 
He's with us! Who the hell are you people? I ask you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. I can't believe I Hi. fucked that up. I'm really pissed off myself right now. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't have to tell you anything. Shut up. Nice. You're gonna go far with that attitude. What happened to the people here? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah, anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Was that you at our house this morning? Watching me through the back fence? Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. Uh, that's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Geeks. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron! You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before- Great. Just great. <laughs> Isn't that the... the way we came. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. 
Isn't there another way back to the house? Bob, is there a... What the hell do you think you're doing? I'll tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not getting eaten. And what about us? What about you? Please, you can't just leave us. Come on, make it fast. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. like some kind of drainage pipe. Won't turn anymore in that direction. This opens the valve. Good thing I'm out here and not in there. Hmm. Seems loose.
must have tried to hide out down here. Watch Poor out. bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Sorry, Chuck. Just a sign. Locked. Fucking perfect. Shit, it broke off. Of course. Damn, I can't reach it. Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Wonder if someone's living down here. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Was good. Who are you? Put the fucking gun down. I could ask you the same question. You barged in on us, and and I'm the one holding the gun. So I'll ask you again. Who are you? Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You yeah, can't I'll, let I'll him leave. Out. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here, are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. Look, I got cornered down here. All I want is to get back out to the streets and find my group. Bullshit! You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. You threatening me, old man? Because you're not gonna like how that goes. Put the fucking gun down before you really make me mad. He's bluffing. You think so? Try me. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. No, I don't think so. I know killers. I've seen my share. You ain't got the look. And that means you ain't got the balls. Now drop the goddamn gun! Oh my god. Vernon, what have you done? Now tell me, who the hell are you people? You say you're not from Crawford, but you sure as hell act like it. Guess you'll just have to take my word for it. Who the hell are you people? Why should we tell you anything? Because now I'm the one holding the gun. Yeah. Start talking. I'll point it to your fucking skull if you don't tell me what I want to know. We are from Crawford. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. Started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? A friend here asked you a question. Yeah. We're sick. We belong to a cancer survivors group that used to meet at the hospital here. 
Now we're in remission, but that wasn't good enough for Crawford. <laughs> They'd already rounded up five of us before we managed to hole up and hide down here. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always top of my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. Now I don't care if you have a gun or not. I want to know how you found your way down here. That's not important right now. What's important to me is that I get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Thanks. I think I can figure out my own way back. Vern, you're not just gonna let him go back out there alone, are you? Those sewers are like a maze. He's got no chance of finding his way back without a guide. You're not gonna be able to get out of here on your own, but we all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Because this is your other option. Here's your other option, bitch. You can either show me the way back or die right here. What's it gonna be? You son of a bitch! Sorry, but it's like you said. We've all got our own problems. It's all right, Bree. I'll show you the way back to your people. And then I hope I never see you again. See you. I don't like you either. I'll be calling you on the weekends either, asshole. Point a gun on my head and you expect me to be friendly towards you? Fuck you. I'm still fucking bitter about the fact that I let Molly punch me. Clementine? Clem? Baby girl? Not you. Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Yep. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? What were you doing? Just looking. Figured you might have something you want to donate as a thank you for getting your friends back safely. I think you have something that belongs to me. I don't like your attitude. Why is there always some bitch in these games that has to be a bitch? Like, just chill the fuck out. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? Some asshole. This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Yeah, fuck you too, I guess. Clementine. Clementine? Everything okay in there? We're fine. Just leave us alone and let the doctor work. <laughs> Fuck you too, I guess. We gotta be staying. Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Clementine, you hear? Clem? Oh. 
Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Where's Don't ask at? me, I'm not her keeper. Bitch. Hey, do I'm I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Okay, I will. I'm talking to you. Bitch. I don't see her out there. God damn. Clem? Clementine? Clementine! Come out! Please! Clem? Kenny? Ken? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? It's early. What man. does it look like? I need to get some whiskey myself. Where'd you get the bottle? I should buy some whiskey. Found it. First good thing that's happened since... Hey, take it, easy. take it easy. I think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us, Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, how did Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? That's not good enough. <sighs> whatever. Don't give me that whatever shit. Just tell me where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be, or it's your ass. Your ass, man. Clementine? Clementine! What were you doing in there? Exploring? And look! Look what I found! Exploring? <laughs> I 
Now immediately I'm thinking, oh great, it probably doesn't even work, right? <laughs> Our luck. What's taking Kenny so damn long? How hard can it be to look over a boat? It'll take as long as it takes, Lee. Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Let's go to Crawford. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. Just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. We're armed and we've got the numbers. I say we just go in there and take what we need by force. Okay, that is literally the dumbest idea I have ever heard. Crawford's like a goddamn military base. They've got hundreds of people in there armed to the teeth, and that perimeter's guarded day and night. You're gonna have to be smarter than that. Oh, well, maybe we can be. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. Here. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay, that's not bad. That's better. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Funny, how long have you been? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. Yes. I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. happen but we have to take that risk because it's just as dangerous not to I guess I should go get ready uh, say what now you said you'd need all of us to do this and you said I'm a big help remember 
Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? I don't think I'll find them in Crawford, Sweet Pea. Why not? Because they're good people. And Crawford is a bad place run by bad people. Exactly. I don't think they would have stayed in a place like that. How do you know they're good if you've never met them? Well, they raised you, didn't they? Good point, though. Can't I come with you? Yes. Okay, you can come. But you have Absolutely. to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. So we're gonna leave Omi by himself, but that way... You know, I mean, we can't do anything for him for right now. We're going to get stuff for him, so... I wasn't gonna leave her with him in case he took a turn for the worst and ended up turning. Some whiskey. We should go to the store after this. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break in. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Can I talk to you a minute? Sure. What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30 footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people, even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Polly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree, she can help us. We don't need her. She's just gonna slow us down. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? Yeah, I guess me. Not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. Are you ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This isn't up for debate, Vernon. Decision's made. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. Well, She's coming. Like you Deal anyway. with it. You so... heard the man. Let's move out. Thank you. I hate all of you. It's like you people are annoying me. It's like I hate w w what my group has turned into. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We go in hard, hit them by surprise, grab what we need and get the hell out. We need to do this fast, so everybody stay sharp, stay alert, and stay close together. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Let's go. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will take this guy out. On my signal, the rest of you follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. 
Don't fucking move. I ain't gonna tell you again. What the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Do you think they saw us? Definitely. Definitely. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. It's all over. We should leave this place, now. No, listen to me. Before, everyone at Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb and they don't. Hey, trying to look on the bright side here. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on, I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Just keep moving. I bet. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Time for class. Kind of reminds me of Silent Hill a little bit. Minus Dino, the fucked Figures. up shit. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Any idea where we could find a battery? Uh, maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. 
How do you know that? Yeah. Just makes sense, doesn't it? I guess. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. You'll have a Be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Good luck. And may your god go with you. Or whatever god you believe in. What about me? What can I do? Um... I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. You know why? I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm no. not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving I'm ben leaving him with, with you. you. Understand? I trust you a million times more. Oh, I trust okay. Him. Good girl. <laughs> Act before you know it. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. Grade Tour school was okay. Fuel is at the maintenance shop. But high school Medicine was just might not be at the good nurse's office. For me, and a battery would probably so, be at the auto honestly, shop. Honestly, I really here. being in school kind of like it's kind of like you know bittersweet almost. I know where to go. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. True, true. Creepy. Yeah. No power, no TV. No power, no TV. <laughs> here it is. Okay. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Alright, here it is for the people um, curious about the tags around Savannah. The initials of the person conducting the search are the letters. So TMR, so maybe Tim Matthew Ryan, maybe. Uh, days since the outbreak, 71 days since, since the outbreak. That's how many days it's been since the outbreak. The number underneath the initials. Number of walkers found are the number to the right. Number of citizens brought to Cough Crawford are the ones inside the, the uh, triangle. And the number of el ineligible citizens found are one. So it's ineligible, one, walkers found to the right, and then that. So, okay, so initials, days since outbreak, walkers, citizens, brought the car offered, and then intel ineligible citizens. Okay, all right, I got it, I got it, I got it. You okay, Clem? Yeah. You okay? This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. Yeah. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. You were in high school, that's why. Really? Really? I would have thought school would be the last thing you'd miss about all this. Honestly. No, I liked it. Huh. What was your favorite subject? Yeah. History? <laughs> well, what do you know? That's what I taught. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? No. I don't think so, Clem. I think the best we can hope for is that we'll find a way to survive, to stay together, and to not let this change us. That's what's important. I guess you're right. Good girl. Hey, you. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? That'd make a nice change of pace. Wow, no need to agree with me quite so much. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Go fuck well, yourself. I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. 
What is it? On. It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? Yeah. And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Man, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Are you fucking Damn. nuts? No offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real. Real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Look, we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself. For the good of everyone. You have a lot of nerve. You hear me? You have a lot of nerve. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. You have a lot of nerve bringing up my past. When you're the one who got my hat, my group fucking killed! You fuckers. Man, every single one of you people are turning against me. Fuck all you people. Under 14, all analysis and medical conditions must be disclosed. Anyone asked to leave Crawford can't return under any circumstances. Theft or looting within the district will not be tolerated. Waste not. Make the most of your rations. You only get like so many shit per per month or something, or per six months or whatever it is. Nothing. I mean, I get... alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? I will slit your goddamn throat, bitch. Walkers probably, or I don't know, doing something. It's fucking bullshit. Molly, you out here? Molly, I'll let you whip my ass again if I if I find you. Guess I'm not going that way. Deliveries made in the rear. Huh. Ah. <laughs> Auto shop must be down this way. Oh, hello. The star. There's a hole in the ceiling. Huh. Out the fence, bro. Yeah. I put some up into it. Damn, it's jammed tight. Ah, fuck. Oh, it's raining walkers now. Leave him! What's good? He's mine. Nice to see you. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Molly? Ah! Molly! What? I think you got it. You got it. One more. For luck. <laughs> For luck. Okay. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Right Can't here. raise it. 
It's fucking jammed as fuck. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh. Oh yeah. That'll work. Mechanical jack. Nice. Oh. Get him, Molly. Why don't you go for the brain? Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. I bet. Can't reach it up there. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. No power. Hi, Molly. Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Yeah. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not? Time's wasting. Fine. What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Fair enough. Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow right, Hilda? Judging. I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Not a scratch. I did it. Whoa, whoa! Oh, That's shit. probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Got that one off. It's off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. Stop complaining. Come on. You ever stop being a bitch? Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! I don't know, man. Got it. I don't know, man. <laughs> 
that's what I would be like. You're like, I don't know, man. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Bye. Damn it, what the hell is she doing? Each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. What's the hand with these fuel cans? They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back. Yep. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? No offense, but I'm not really looking for conversation. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I just don't particularly like you. If this is about Vernon, I did what I had to do to get him to help us. I was only looking out for my people. And I'm looking out for mine. That's the only reason I'm here. So, if there's nothing else... Fuck you then, I guess, bitch. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. Yep. So where's this battery you found? Molly, Molly has. has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what has she done for me lately?
What the hell happened? He wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe. Locked up tight. Hmm. Bust it open? There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time. But I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Hey, Doc. Uh, That's a common I just wanted start. to thank you for coming with us and for all your help. I really appreciate it. Hey, don't thank me. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for my people. They need this medicine as badly as your friend does. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. yeah. Don't worry, she'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. I'm a mercenary too. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Hey, Krista. Uh, Krista. Yeah. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You've been throwing up. Oh, you... come on. You just dug up a rotting dog carcass. I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. That's well, fine. I hope I did the right thing bringing Clementine with us. This place isn't exactly safe. Then why did you? Because leaving her alone with Omi didn't seem any safer. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Krista, but Omid's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with him... That is not going to happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. You're right. right. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, calm the fuck down. Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're going to get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... It's okay. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll be fine. Look, Lee, I just want to get back to Omid. Let me do my thing, all right? Okay. Y'all so hostile. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Trivia for anyone who didn't know, the character Why are you model recording that this? is Anna Correa. Regulations. Is Oberson has ordered me to Krista. keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. And different hair. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. Yeah. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. They can't but have you gave a me something for girl. it and it went away. This is my you problem, know. not yours. If Oberson Leaching finds out that resources. I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna. You don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Oberson's the uh, leader of Crawford. 
And I think... I think Logan's the father. I think the doctor's the father. That's what Damn they're implying. Damn it! We almost had it. What, what the hell said, kind of place problem, was yours, this? You know? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Why don't you search it? I found to it myself. People are all fucking useless. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. More importantly, we got the combination.
Looks like the sick system these bastards cooked up to protect themselves wound up destroying them. Can't say I'll shed too many tears over it. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. I care about the third tape. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Ain't like that some shit? <sighs> well, shit. God damn it! Let's wrap this shit up. Episode to take a lot out of you. Plus, I want whiskey. And I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> I'm almost done, anyways. Jesus Christ! Bitch. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. Gotcha. I'll take that battery down. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. You lose it? I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. I know you're what? From Crawford. Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, earn their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. I kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Let's go, come on. Whoa! Jesus! Shit. Man. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. 
Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? You get Just that? found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh no. Oh, shit! You dumb fuck. That wasn't me. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. Good job, Clementine. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. Fuck you, It's too. been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Gotta focus on getting out of here! You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dad! My wife and child! You got them both fucking killed! Penny, listen to me. You can whip a skinny little ass later, but right now we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. We got problems. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, I know you're upset. I understand. But you don't get to make a decision like that on your own. We're all in this together. We're a group. Sure! Take a vote! This is America! Fuck it! But before you all decide, there's something you ought to know. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Yeah. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, right. I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? No. I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group. You're out. That means cutting you loose. You're gone, Ben. I'm sorry, Clem. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> Nine more, you dumb bitch. <laughs> now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on. Run, old man. We're staying at eat. I don't care. So much for the armory. What's left of it? The door's busted. A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. We're in a goddamn bell tower. Uh, no. <laughs> Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Wait, look! Yeah. Oh, thanks, bro.
It's all right, Clem. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go! Go! Come on, let's go! Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Ready? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Yeah. Got some pills. Where's Ben? Dead. He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Exactly. She's fine. She'll be okay. I know it's tough on her now, but she'll understand. I did what I had to. She will understand, right? She's gonna have to if she's gonna make it in this world the way it is now. No easy decisions anymore. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk, in private. I got nothing to say to you, old man. So you'll be returning to your group now? Yes, but not before I give you a piece of my mind. What? what? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now, just hold on a damn minute. Listen! No, you listen. You got some good people here, and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you, the kind of leader you are, they're not gonna make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is gonna solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm gonna make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands. 
Take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this Get and give you a chance out of to my walk sight, away. You piece you of fucking shit. Right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Get the fuck out of my house. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. That might be for the best. Boat's gonna be crowded as it is. You kind of strike me as more of a go-it-alone type. Yeah, I've always had a hard time relying on other people. Although I've gotta admit, you've given me a reason to rethink that. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Hey, sweet pea. Henny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do, after he fixes it? Where will we go? We'll go wherever Kenny says. He's a good captain, and he knows the water's down south. He'll know where to take us. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clementine, this may be hard to understand right now, but sometimes for the good of everyone, we have to make tough choices. Ben was putting us all in danger in Crawford. So I made a decision. And I left him behind. I know that sounds bad. But I had to think about the whole group. Not just one person. But I'm just one person. Not to me, you're not. Not to me. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem. But I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. <laughs> hey there. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Don't cry. Clementine? Clementine?
Clementine? Clementine! Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee! Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. And who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? To do. I don't know what to do here. I don't even know if I can ask for your help. Lee, we're a team. That's how we've made it this far. We're not going to just abandon you. Even now? Especially now. You've earned that much. Damn straight. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Are you sure about this? Could be dangerous. As opposed to what? Day-to-day -day life these days? We're sure, Lee. Just lead the way. Guys. What about you, brother? You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. Always. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys. We should go find Vernon. Let's see if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides... What choice do we have? All right. This is my squad right here. Four adults. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt!
you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. That's how I normally play episode four. And Devon, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video with these stats for you, so stay tuned for that. But this is what I do: kill the boy in the attic. I threaten and lie to him, to Vernon, because I fucking hate him. I brought Clementine with me. And then, of course, I personally let Ben drop to his death. And I revealed the bite because of that. Let the credits roll. And then here's what happened. Boom. That's it for that. Devon, I'm gonna make you a stat video. With those stats. But that'll be after I get something to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> Alright, I'm out this motherfucker.